Tabernacles of God's Spirit Church. We are the throne of God. Since we are the throne of God, this means the Lord dwell in us. I bring greetings from the one who is faithful. The one who is, the one who was, and the one who is coming soon. He's at the gate. Take note of my word. He's coming soon. He's at the gate. Standing with me here physically, but invisible to the world, are the seven spirit of God who dwell in the throne of the Father. Fears all over the world. Remember, I'm here because I'm sent. I can't be here unless I'm sent. I'm here because I'm sent. The message is not about the messenger, but about the one who gives these messages. Take note. Let no man take the glory of the work of the Father because we are watchmen in the reign of the Spirit. This is the voice of an ancient spirit of God installed in this latter time. Let us not forget that I gave us a message concerning the year 2023, the year of rapidness. I told you by the spirit projection as at that season that this year will be a year of rapid manifestation, the year of rapidness, a conclusion. Under the calendar of God, this year is to conclude the year 2019. And I said there will be a lot of unfoldings as spirit permits. And we have seen the divine manifestation of God's word. Also, in one of our TV uh, message, Holy Ghost gives to us, I told us about Africa, that we should pray about for Africa as a whole, that the enemy is rising witchcraft in Africa. Africa is rising witchcraft again. That's what the Holy Ghost told me. That wishes are wizard are rising in Africa again. That we should pray for the for Africa as a whole. Now, what does he mean by witchcraft? That is rising. This means that the wickedness of men is growing, diabolic practices is increasing, plot of harmful skill and misleading is increasing in Africa. This is why the Lord asks us praying that each nation of Africa there should be intercessor. Do not forget this. So you have seen what is happening in the nation of South Sudan. On Monday, as at 3.40, 1pm in the evening, I was on the mountain seeking the face of God for His mercy. Take note of my word. For His mercy over the nation and over the responsibility he has put on our care. Suddenly, at the second hour, the Holy One of Israel stood before me. This is a physical contact, an open vision. As I received from him directly, while I was the one writing, he was the one speaking. He gave me a word for the nation South Sudan. The nation South Sudan, this is to tell you that there is a prophet in the land. There is a prophet in the land. God is to say something concerning you. For South Sudan, too much godlessness in that land, is in that land. Yes. It is a land that is greatly blessed, but the enemy introduced godlessness in their hearts. They have the spirit of complacency. It is like a dark cloud 
in the whole country. This spirit is like a dark cloud in the whole country. They have not cried out to me on this current war. They think they can win it by themselves. But when they cry out to me, because I am their God, I will expose the spirit of manipulation in both sides. I mean, two countries, because the Lord said this is South Sudan and the other, they are safe. Two countries. Because there are people who wants to gain from this world. So, they are manipulating the leaders on both sides to get, they are manipulating the leaders for both sides. Yet, they are not for anyone. Do you understand what I'm saying? These people, there are people that is influencing this world. This is external bodies, foreigners. They are manipulating the leaders for both countries that are fighting. This is what the Lord said. But yet, these people are not for anybody. So they are supporting this side. The same people supporting this side are the same people supporting this side. Unknown to you. But for their own interest to be gained, these people are just supporting here, supporting here. They want to gain something from this war. So they are misusing, using the head of these two nations to fight. And this is what the Lord said. Remind them that I love them. My love is eternal love. They should seek me. Many have, many have never fed, many have never fed the true love that I have for them. Many of them have never fed that love. Remind them that they should seek me. I love them. So the nation of South Sudan is the voice of the Lord for you. Why are you fighting each other? The one that is advising this leader is the one that is advising this leader. You that is fighting within yourself. The same person is not for you people, but he wants to gain. This is the voice of the Lord. Seek him, both leaders, and leave this world. Godlessness has been introduced to your heart. Backup has been introduced to your heart. This is why men trust after the horses of Egypt that we never grant them nothing. Be on your knees. This is the sign of the end time. But this is not the will of God for you people. Satan is gaining from this. If you fail to listen to this message, there is more damage that will happen to your nation. This is the voice of the seven spirits of God speaking in the midst of a slave boy, favor the slave of Christ.